All right, you're all set, Carly. Awesome. And Judy, hey, would you mind muting everybody too while you're at it so we can go ahead and get started? Perfect. Thank you. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so excited to be here tonight. I can't even tell you. Like, it is such an honor to be able to be on here with my team, with my husband, and to be able to share some of their stories with you. And I know that their stories are going to diverse you. I have my husband here who's notoriously been on the sidelines cheering me on throughout time. Um, and this is the place that he decided to link arms with me and join me. So I'll let him share a little bit more about that in a bit. But also, you guys, I have three dynamic women on here that have diverse backgrounds and stories. And I know each one of them is going to bless you. Their story is just, it, you're, you're going to really love this. So I'm excited for you guys. Um, so anyway, let me introduce myself. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself, my story, before I pass it on to these amazing people. Um, but my name is Carly. Um, I'm a wife. I'm a mama. I mean, I could go on about hobbies and things like that, but we'll save that for another time. But I do want to let you know that I've been in this network marketing space for about eight years now. Um, and so it, it really started when my little boy was a newborn. Um, Tim and I lived out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon, seriously, the middle of nowhere. And, you know, he was uh, rebuilding a construction business. I had this newborn baby and our backs were against the wall. Like financially, it was a really rough patch for us. And we were at a place where we could not make ends meet. And I wanted to stay home with that baby. And so that was the point when I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a look at this network marketing thing. I did not see myself in the network marketing space, but um, you know, when you didn't, I really didn't have another option. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to check this thing out. I'm going to see if it's going to help our family. And I had a few really cool things happen through that process. Okay. So the first thing is, is that we did make a little extra money. When I jumped in, you guys, I was not great at network marketing. It wasn't like a boom, instant success story, but you know what? I made enough money to cover gas and diapers. And you know, that gave us breathing room and that was phenomenal. And I can tell you like never underestimate the power of a small paycheck because it was, it was huge. And it really set the trajectory for something that ended up being a profound blessing for our family. So um, that was one thing that happened. Another thing that happened is I really caught vision of what this industry could be when it's done right. Um, what I saw was that this wasn't just a paycheck, but it was a paycheck tied to self-development, tied to becoming the best, most incredible version of yourself. And even more importantly, helping others do the same, helping dig out the gold in that person um, and helping them grow as a person while getting a paycheck and setting their families free, right? So I fell in love with that. I fell in love with that mission. And I can tell you, <laughs> so we've got little kids downstairs. I know he's going to have to go check on them because they're having a meltdown, you guys. But um, with that said, um, you know, I really fell in love with that vision of how we could help other people. And then finally, you guys, when I, when I started in network marketing and I started to see that there really were incredible success stories to be had. There were people who were setting their families financially free. And it wasn't just one of those things where, you know, you hear about that person and you're not sure if it really happened, but I started to see true profound changes in people's lives through this industry. And I started to say, well, if she can do it, why not me? If they can do it, why not me? If I can do it, why not you, right? So that was something that really resonated with me. And at that point, that's when I thought, okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go all in. And that was that pivotal shift in my mindset that allowed me to have success in the industry. So why am I telling you this? Because even though I was having success, do you remember what I was telling you that was really important to me? That vision that I had, it was to help other people do the same. It was to help other people be set free. It was to help other people enrich their lives. And that wasn't happening. I was having success in the industry, but my team wasn't. The people that trusted me and that came in and that they joined me, they weren't seeing those successes. In fact, I would bring people in and what would happen is that sometimes they wouldn't even make enough money to cover a mandatory auto ship. I'm like, this is exactly the opposite of what I wanted. This is exactly the opposite of what I was wanting to do for people. And I got really discouraged. Um, and so I spent several years in the industry, but being discouraged about the fact that I wasn't seeing these wins for other people, I got to this pivotal point where I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to do one of two things. Either I'm going to have to lay this industry down or I'm gonna to have to find a place where I know that people can thrive, that the average person can come in and they can do amazing things for their family. Cause that's what it's about you guys. That's what my heart is. And so um, I did start looking around and I can tell you that I noticed this place and almost missed it. 
I almost missed this, but something in my heart, and I believe it was destiny, right? So, okay, take, take a closer look at this. So what I did was I went ahead and I ordered this happy coffee everybody was talking about, right? And I can tell you that I did not have high expectations. Oh, it looks like we got our little friend. Hi, Evelyn. So we always do things as a family and this girl's part of like 90% of my Zooms. So, um, so I ordered the coffee, not expecting big things because you guys like, honestly, I'm a huge skeptic by nature. And then on top of that, I'm the girl that usually doesn't have the results from the product. So I was like, I'm going to get this. It would be great if I could lose some baby weight. It was from this little one right here. She was one and I still haven't lost the weight guys. And so I'm like, that would be fantastic. But I can tell you that, um, you know, what ended up happening was a lot more than baby weight by day six. Okay. Some people will try this product. They have that boom right away experience where, you know, they feel, they feel it like, they're messaging me being like, what did you give me? This stuff is phenomenal. For me, it was about six days before I really started to see the change. But what ended up happening on day six was so much more than weight loss. I did end up losing the baby weight with this one because of the product, but I can tell you that it was what it did for me emotionally that made such an impact. So just to kind of back up a little bit, you guys, what I was experiencing when I started taking this product is I was in the lowest point of my life. It was so dark. Um, and I normally don't struggle with depression, but I don't know if I've never pulled out of postpartum depression with her. It was just, you know, a rough year, but I genuinely was at that place where, you know, things were pretty dark for me. And by day six, I started to see a light at the end of the tunnel. I started to feel like the old me again. And I knew at that point, you guys, I knew that this product was going to make a tremendous impact for people. So, but that's not where it ended, you guys. I'm like, okay, this, we got a home run of a product, but I need to know how this company feels about the people. What, is, what does it look like? So I started to dig deeper and I started to talk to these people. And the first thing I realized is they had a comp plan that took care of the brand new person coming in, right? That mom that I was when I first joined, you know, so many years back that it understood that we needed to reward and love those people brand new. And I appreciated that. And then I dug a little deeper and I started talking to the people here and I realized that their heart beat like mine for the people, that they truly loved and wanted to see a change in this industry that could genuinely help people make those huge life changes, right? To, to set those families financially free. And that is where I got really excited because whether it's you know somebody that wants to come in and they need to make enough money for gas or diapers, right? Or it's somebody who comes in and they want to help pay their mortgage. Or maybe it's somebody like Tim and I who really, truly want to make this their full-time position. Like this was the company that I knew that people could come in and they could make it happen. So you guys, I'll just let you know what ended up happening for us because it's super cool. So when I came in, you guys, I had a dwindling income for my last company. I laid that down and I'm like, okay, if I can just replace that, five to six months, you know, that was kind of our window. If we can just replace it in five to six months, we'll be so thankful. We'll take care of our car payment, our mortgage. Like that's what we want. What we ended up doing in five short months was seven times that, literally seven times that. And it blew our mind, but that is what happens when you align with a place that shares a heart, that has the same like desire and integrity to put people, to put people before profit and to put them first. And that was made such an impact. And so we were blown away by that. But truly, you guys, it's because of the heart of this company and the simplicity and all of those things that are in place. So what's so exciting, you guys, was that that didn't just happen for us. We didn't just have that experience for us, but it was something where we were experiencing that with people on our team. So people that had come in and trusted us and aligned with us were seeing those incredible freedoms in their own family. And that felt so good. Okay. But you guys, we've been here for two years. And when we came in, this company was beautiful. But what we've seen transform over the last years has made us beyond excited because you guys, um, we have seen a metamorphosis here. So first off, you guys, I got to talk to you about the fact that we've got new branding. We have a new branding we've become the happiness co that was genius. And what's so cool about that is that we've always had a beautiful inside, but now we match on the outside, right? We have a very attractive appealing branding to people. Um, our corporate staff has grown since I've come. We have brought in so many brilliant men and women who are helping us build this thing into something incredible. These are people with decades and decades of wisdom. These are people who, again, they share the same heart. Um, they align with us. And I am just so honored to be working with the most incredible corporate staff. Um, on top of that, 
We are the second highest paying network marketing company in America. Um, with some of the bonuses we got going, like I wouldn't be surprised if we've dethroned whoever was first and we've become first. We literally um, truly treat our people with fairness. And I so appreciate that. Okay. We also, you guys, um, we are a publicly trader, traded company with investors that have taken notice and that see what this is. And they have put investment to the tune of $30 million into our company. So you guys, what does that mean? That means that we are incredibly stable here, incredibly financially well off. And that is very, very exciting. Um, but I also want to say this to you guys, right? We are at the cusp of, be of becoming a household name. Props to all of you that are taking the time to listen to this because you have an entrepreneurial eye, because everything that we have in place has poised us to become the next billion dollar company. Do you guys know how exciting that is? So anybody who feels led to align with us, you guys, you are at a very pivotal and exciting point in this company where you have the opportunity to set your family financially free to build a legacy for yourself, but even more importantly, the ripple effect that will have to the people around you, the impact that you're going to be able to make and the lives that you're going to be able to change will surpass that of your family and do incredible things. So you guys, if you're looking at this, get excited because what we have in our hands right now is an unparalleled opportunity that, um, that I, I mean, I can't, there are not even words to describe what is a, what we're at the cusp of here. So with that said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and pass this off to my handsome husband, Tim, right here. Um, what I have to tell you about this guy is seriously, he's been, he's never been a wing clipper. clipper. He's been cheering me on from day one. Uh, he's always been at my side and saying, girl, you got this, you can do this. And you know what? It's been really cool because once he saw the vision here and he hopped in and joined me, it's been really fun building this as a couple. So Tim, gonna go ahead. Yes. First of all, I'd like to say this right here is why we do it. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, I'd like to just introduce myself. I am Tim and I've been a business owner for, oh, 14 plus years. and as a business owner, oh, here, go to mom. everything is always looking for an opportunity. Um, that's the way I look at it is that's whether it's another job, um, the next um, phase. So I looked up the word today, opportunity, and it came up and it says a set of circumstances to make it possible to do something. Well, my something was always work. I never stopped working because that's what I had to do. And I didn't have balance. I had absolutely no balance. And so as a husband, father, like I said, I struggled to find balance. I answered to my clients. Um, they were always first, which wasn't great or good at the time. I missed baseball games, even as like my son's coach. That's never good also to be the coach and missing baseball games. Um, miss family events. Um, I'm, when my dad died, I didn't even take time to grieve because I had to meet the deadline. The, um, the next, oh, that deadline that was placed upon me. And I knew right then that something had to change. Um, I literally, with work, it almost hit rock bottom because I was so frustrated. And it was then that I saw the heart behind this company. I saw what this company could do and I was excited, but I was really excited for Carly to do it. <laughs> and then I really got to digging. And when I really got to meet people and see the heart behind it all, I was like, you know what, Blo completely blown away. And I was like, Carly, I want us to do this together. I want to grow in this together with you. And I was like, let's take this to the finish line. And for us, the finish line has never been specifically about money, it's been about freedom. And we finally were able to start experiencing freedom. Um, we are just right now getting ready to take a trip across America. And I can't believe, first of all, I can't believe that we're doing it. Second of all, like I am not stressed and I can't believe that either. <laughs> Because as a typical business owner, that is extreme stress to try to account for 
all of the time that you'll miss and try to get it all crammed in before you leave. And I'm just like blown away. And it's all because we, we know what this is capable of doing. We have literally just been walking completely in freedom. And I'm just, I don't know, just blown away and literally have, I would say everything has become more just stress-free and I'm just, like I said, this is awesome. Yeah, it's really exciting. And he says that it's going to be stress-free, but we're going to be driving across America with kids. So <laughs> I think he means that the business part is going to be stress-free. So driving across America with children, that's going to be another story. Anyway, you guys, uh, thank you, Tim, so much. I just love that we can do this together. So I'm actually really excited to introduce to you one of the beautiful members from my team who just inspires me on a daily basis. This woman has had um, crazy success in other companies, and I'm honored that she chose us to work with us here but maria are you ready to go ahead and share a little bit about your story today hey carly thank you yes absolutely you guys thanks so much i'm so honored to be on here and share a little bit of my story with you you know like carly said i'm maria i'm from minnesota a little bit about myself um I'm super, super busy, you guys. I'm a wife. I'm a mom. I have six kids that range from six to 16 years old. You know, a few of them actually have special needs. And I also work outside of the home. And, you know, coming here, I needed something simple. My life is crazy. This isn't the first business that I've done either. You know, I've been in three other companies prior to this. And I honestly was just super tired and extremely burnt out not only like in my business, but my life, my life was just getting busier. Things were getting more stressful, more chaotic as my kids were growing with all of their different needs, their different ages, different things going on. I just really needed a change. You know, I couldn't keep going at the pace that I was going. I was exhausted every single day. I had no energy. I was mentally drained. And to be honest, I had hit like a really, really dark spot in my life and I was suffering immensely. Like I had this sadness and depression and this hole that I was stuck in that I couldn't pull myself out of. And, you know, retrospectively looking back, I remember just thinking like every single day when I'd wake up, I think, okay, today's going to be better. Today's the day. I'm going to be a good mom today. I'm going to be a good wife. I'm going to pull it together. And then by mid morning, I would find myself just sobbing and absolutely exhausted and drained. And then the mom guilt would just start laying on super thick. You know, there were many, many times where I found myself locking myself in my bath and just crying because of the suffering that I was experiencing and because of all of the sadness. And I would lock myself in the bathroom and just hide from my kids because I didn't want to see them, you know, have them see me losing it. And I didn't want to say something to them that I would regret that I couldn't take back. I just constantly felt like I was losing control and that I was going to break down and, you know, was experiencing horrible brain fog, like just all this stuff. So when this coffee came into my life, I honestly thought there was like no way that this was going to do anything for me. I had tried just about everything out there, but at this point I figured like I was already at the lowest point in my life. Like really, what do I have to lose by trying this? I drink coffee every single day why not? Right. And within the first week, you guys of getting started on these products, there was this huge shift that happened for me. And the first thing that I could remember experiencing and even saying something to my husband was I can breathe. Like I can just take a deep breath and breathe in. And I felt more relaxed. My head stopped spinning. It was like this cloud had just lifted from over my life and these heavy chains that were that were like weighing me down with all this stuff I was experiencing were breaking. And I just finally started to feel hope again. And as I started, you know, as I continued like using these products over time, I noticed that I was being more patient with my kids. I was being more present with my family. I wasn't losing my temper over like every little thing that I normally would. Things were just like rolling off, you know, and I was just dealing with it. I wasn't hiding in the bathroom anymore. I wasn't sobbing all the time uncontrollably. And it just really lifted me out of this doom and gloom that I was constantly experiencing. And I was really shocked that it, you know, that it worked for me, something so simple as a cup of coffee and a capsule, you know? And the thing for me is like, I knew that I needed to share this with others. I knew that there were other moms that I had been talking to who were suffering and struggling the same way that I did. And I wanted to help people, you know, like I mentioned, I've been in different businesses before. And the thing was like, I did really well, but I didn't have the time anymore. I didn't have the time or the energy to keep grinding and hustling in a business the way that I had been going over all those year after year after year. It had really literally burnt me out. And I knew that others couldn't do it either. There came a point like in my business where I actually stopped bringing people into the business because I knew that they couldn't do what I was doing. 
I knew that they weren't going to make any money. I knew that they couldn't duplicate it. Things were too complicated. It was like information overload all the time. Um, I knew that people were going to need to put in more time than they were even wanting or willing to put in in order to see, you know, the fruit of their effort. And it was, you know, exhausting. It was, it was depressing. It was sad. And it's, that's not why I wanted to do this industry to help people. I wanted to see people win. And with this business, you know, what I found was that I was actually able to fit this into my life, fit it into the nooks and crannies of my busy schedule versus planning my life around my business, which I had to do so many times in the past. I found that it wasn't complicated. It was easy. Conversations just flowed smoothly because I was talking about a cup of coffee and happiness. And it's just really been awesome because I've just been able to come here and share my story share what these products have done for me. You know, obviously they've had a huge impact on my life and helped me in, in a huge way and plug into the system that's like already in place for me, that's already in put in place. And I've been able to grow an incredible business, which has, you know, been able to contribute to our family, like in a major way. This is the first time in a long time that we've actually had a savings account tucked away that we don't have to touch. We've been able to take our kids on vacations. You know, we just planned a trip for Florida and taking our kids on a plane for a first time. Stuff with six kids, like that adds up. Finances add up with that. You know, because of this business, we've been able to put our kids in different sports and activities that they want to be in. Our bills have been paid on time. Our mortgage is paid every month. And, you know, things that come up like unexpected, you know, expenses, like last week, our dishwasher broke. We were able to actually just go to the store and buy a dishwasher. I didn't have to go rummage through the marketplace to find, you know, a used reliable dishwasher and waste all that time. And, you know, just because we didn't have the money for it, because we did because of this. And that to me, that's the freedom. That's the freedom that I've been looking for. Something that was simple that I could just fit into my life. Something that I knew that other people could do and be able to actually do the exact same thing that I was doing and be able to win from it. So it's truly just been an incredible experience. I'm extremely grateful for what these products have done for me and for this business, for what it's done for me, allowing me to build in a way that actually doesn't stress me out, that actually isn't complicated, that I don't have to know everything or be the expert. And I can just use the tools, plug it right into my day and go. And yeah, that's pretty much, you know, really what I wanted to share. I'm just really grateful for this opportunity and for the ability to share you know, product that I see changing other people's lives in a tremendous way every day. Thanks so much for letting me share, Carly. Wow, Maria, like so relatable. Your story has so much impact. I just want to thank you so much for sharing that with us. You are incredible. So thank you. Um, next, we have Tanya is going to go ahead and share. So, you know, I have to tell you guys, the vast majority of my team were people that I had never met in person because we can grow this all from our phone, right? We can connect with people all, you know, without knowing them face to face. But I have the honor of knowing this person in real life. She is a beautiful um, local entrepreneur who does amazing things with business. And I'm really excited that she saw the value in what we have here. So anyway, Tanya, do you want to get on here and share your story? Hi, thanks Carly for inviting me to do this. I'm very nervous, but I'm honored and excited to share a little bit about my story. So uh, first of all, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I have a blended family of five children. We have one left at home that is almost 17. So my life has drastically changed in the last few years because going from five kids to one, as you know, is a lot different. <laughs> um, I'm a cosmetologist. I've done hair for 20 years and it's been great because it's been a flexible uh, job for me having helped raise five kids which has been great. And I've always kind of been an entrepreneur at heart. So I co-owned a salon for 12 years. Um, it was stressful and I didn't see a lot of um, income coming from being an owner. Um, as Tim said, it is stressful owning a business. So I can totally relate. Um, I gave up ownership about two years ago and um, I'll tell you why. My husband lost his mother um, four years ago and <clears throat> sorry, it makes me a little emotional. <laughs> um, it kind of spun us into taking care of his dad because his dad wasn't in great health. And I had to give up something. I had so much stress going on and it just was helpful to let something go. So in the midst of all that chaos, um, 
Carly had messaged me and I kind of supported Carly throughout her journeys. And she messaged me and I got this little message in all this chaos that said, hey, I started a new coffee business and I'd love to send you a sample and thank you for supporting me in all my endeavors. And I was like, oh, that's nice. So she sent me the sample and I got it in the mail and I threw it on the counter. And it sat there for a while, uh, a couple of weeks actually. And she had messaged me, hey, did you have a chance to try that coffee yet? And I was like, no, I haven't. I'm sorry, it's still sitting on my counter. Well, my husband had come across it and he's like, what is this? And he's like the biggest skeptic of all you guys. So he said, well, can I try it? Which I was super shocked. And I was like, yeah, go ahead. So he, she sent me two sticks and two of the Xanthamax. And so he took one stick and he's like, wow, you haven't tried this yet? You should try it. I was like, okay, well, it must be great. So I tried it the next day. And within 10 minutes, I wasn't like Carly. It didn't take me six days. I felt it within five minutes of drinking it. And I was like, whoa, <laughs> I feel so good. And dealing with all that stress of you know him losing his mother and then taking care of his father, I was like, I just feel so good. I almost felt like I was just like, like Maria said, the cloud had just kind of lifted. And <clears throat> so anyways, uh, sorry, I have a few notes here. I don't want to leave out anything. Um, I basically signed up for the discount. My husband liked it. I liked it. I was like, well, I'll sign up for the discount. And I did. And then um, I started sharing it. I'm doing hair. I've got people in my chair. I started talking to them about it, telling them how good I feel and what it's done for me. And I accidentally started a business. <laughs> so people were buying it. It was great. Um, then the pandemic hit. So I was out of work for eight weeks. They had shut down all of our salons in Oregon. And i had never really done network marketing before. So basically I was just sharing it. And I was making a little money. I was like, oh, wow, that's kind of nice little extra money in my pocket. And it was great. So my progress in this business and my experience has been maybe a little slower than most because I had never done network marketing. So I didn't have that big following really. So I'm just kind of sharing it with a few. So I'm moving maybe at a slower pace than most people, which is okay because it's giving me time to learn as I've gone. And I'm doing this within the pockets of my day. So it's it's, just, it's kind of been nice for me. I don't feel like I'm everything's kind of coming at me and it's going too fast. It, it's a nice pace for me, being that I have my, you know, still working behind the chair and whatnot. But the great thing about it is it's a simple duplicatable system. So it's very easy. I just get on my phone. I've got a message here, message there and message people back. And it has been great. It's also allowed me to cut back some of my hours at the salon, which has been great because as I get older, it's been a lot harder on my body. So it's given me that relief, which has been awesome too. And now I'm starting to build a team and I'm seeing growth, um, making some money. I'm able to teach these new people how to do it because it's so simple, which is awesome. And I've been able to pay for a couple beach trips. I bought a new laptop. I mean, all these things have been blessings to our family, which has been great. So that's about it. That's about all I have to share. I just want to say one more thing that I love that Melissa says. I just wanted to pass it on and say it again because she says even kids can do this. It's so simple, which is true because all you have to do is drink coffee, be happy, and share your story. That's it. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for listening and thanks for inviting me to share. Oh my goodness. I love that. And I love you. And you know what's so funny is that um, I, you know, totally accidentally grew a business. I remember saying to you, do you know you just hit your first rank? You're like, oh, really? <laughs> you had no idea. So like this girl, she just kind of happened for her. You know, she accidentally was successful. And so I just, I love that. And I think, you know, you just do such a great job. You have a beautiful social media. So anyway, I'm just, I, again, honored to work with you too. So next we have my friend Hillary, and I just cannot wait for you guys to hear from her. Um, you know, she has got such a heart for others. She is a dynamic leader and just, I mean, she's doing amazing things here and leading again with just so much heart, beautiful human. Anyway, my friend, go ahead and share your story with everybody. Uh, thank you so much for that awesome introduction, Carly. And thank you, uh, Tanya and Maria. Your stories are amazing and inspiring and, and um, really why I do what I do as well. And um, 
it's because of the people, right? The lives that we touch, the lives that we change um, from a cup of coffee, from an opportunity. It's so silly and simple. Um, I laughed at it when I was first introduced to it, to be honest. Um, I, like the ladies before me, I'm a mom. I have three kids, 11, nine, and three. I have been in the industry for about eight years as well. I was with a, a couple of previous companies, had done really well, um, you know, almost at the top. But what I had found was very similar to um, so many people, and that was my team wasn't winning. And um, when I first got into network marketing, I was a broke as a joke, single mom with two kids, <laughs> like no kidding on the verge of bankruptcy, um, no formal college education. Like what does one do? <laughs> How do you make money, right? Besides working at the gas station or selling something. <laughs> so um, I had just actually co closed the decorating and design store and um, was, was just really at rock bottom in this industry um, presented itself to me. So when I got into it, I really didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know what I was looking for in a company. Um, but something that has never changed is my want or desire to help other people become the best version of themselves that they can be, um, including myself on that journey. Right. And, um, as I spent more time in those companies, I, learned more about compensation plans. I learned more about products. I learned more about price points. I learned more about, you know, companies and leadership and vision and integrity and all the things that mattered so much to me. And I found myself after so many years, not aligned with the company, not having products that were impactful and, you know, a team that wasn't really winning. And to be absolutely transparent. I'm 39 now, but at 18, I had a suicide attempt and I've struggled with um, depression and anxiety for the last, you know, 21 years and probably really before that. And I thought I had a really good grasp on that depression and anxiety. Um, but after the company that I was with before this, I found myself in a really, really dark place. I'm just telling you like really bad thoughts um, were racing through my head. I spent the time on my couch. Netflix was my friend. You know how when you watch too long and it's like, are you still watching? I'm like, of course I am. <laughs> I've never moved. Why? Um, you know, I, it was so bad. I was literally setting an alarm on my phone when my kids were going to be coming home from school so that I could get up off my couch. I would set in another alarm when my husband was coming home so I could quick tidy up to make it look like I wasn't sleeping on the couch all day. Um, I was really, really sad and about to lay down um, this industry altogether. I was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Like, it's just, it's too much. It's too complicated. There's, there's too many hoops. There's too many things. Um, and I, and I saw Carly on social media. I had never met her before and I was attracted to her energy. And there was just this instinctual feeling that I should align with her, that I should reach out to her. So I did. And when she first told me she found happy coffee, I was like, oh, sister, <laughs> I don't know about that. Good luck. <laughs> that sounds real gimmicky. Um, but I, but I trusted her and I was like, okay, fine. You know, what do I have to lose? Give it to me. And, um, by, I was a, I was a first timer, like day one drinking the coffee. It was, it's like that fog is that feeling. I mean, I didn't have to set alarms on my phone. I was up, I was doing, I was like wanting to clean. And you guys, we were in a really, really bad spot when I got into this company, we sold a house. We were supposed to buy one. Like a lot of, we were living in my husband's grandfather's basement. We were maybe going to build, like it couldn't have come at a better time in my life. And once I tried it and experienced it, I'm like, okay, I have to share this. I have to share this, but I can't share it unless I know that the, these things have to be in alignment. I have to have my belief back in the industry, right? And how do I get my belief back in the industry? I have to take a look at who is steering the ship of this company, right? Like, what is the plan? What is the vision? And our corporate staff is, it's a dream. It's an absolute dream. They listen to the field. They work with the field. They work for us <laughs> and with us. And it's amazing and incredible. I needed a product that was impactful and at a price point that was affordable. 
that was affordable, you guys. Um, and this is, this is so affordable. It's a cup of coffee, the simplicity. I'm not convincing anyone to do anything else um, that they're not already doing. I needed a compensation plan that was fair that there was no hoops, that I, I didn't have to balance this and jump here and make this person this rank and, you know, all these things. And, you know, I wanted a place that valued their customers, that I wasn't just out there trying to convince everyone and their mother to join my team and join my business so that I could rank advance because that's the way the compensation plan was set up. Right. So now I'm going from a place of wanting to help and serve people. And it started to feel like I was using people. And that was totally misaligned with me. So I love that we value customers and we have a really high customer ratio. In fact, on my team, it's about 15 to one. So every one brand partner, they have about 15 customers. That's incredible. The retention needed to be there. Um, and now with the new branding and the new websites, you guys, I have to show this really cool thing. I know we're getting a little bit longer on here, but with the new website, let me just tell you how silly excited I am. Shared the Shared my link. With, with an individual, she went to purchase one product. I didn't even have a conversation about the other products. Next thing I know, she purchased them. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's awesome. You guys, that's the simple system. Like that's the, the company, the website, the thing doing it for you. I wasn't in the messenger trying to be an expert, pretending I was a health expert and like, you know, Googling ingredients on the side and copy and sending it like, oh no, this is what it says. Um, we have the tools. We have a company that has our back. We are going global, you guys. We're, we're already in Canada, US, um, Australia, New Zealand. We're about to blow up Asia. I mean, literally this is a diamond in the rough um, as an opportunity, but the biggest thing I can tell you, um, and it's really going to make me emotional, is I have never, ever felt more aligned with the individuals that are here, supported and loved, whether I make a million sales or zero sales. And that is important to me, that these people are family and they have your back and they love you and you get to show up as you, not some fluffed up version that you think is going to fit in with everyone in the company or who you think that they want you to be. You get to be you. In fact, it's stinking encouraged. <laughs> like that's what I, I want you to be you. Um, cause, cause the Lord put you here on this earth as this unique person. And you're the only one who can show up and make the world impact and the things and say, and do you're the only one that can do that. Like that's you. So um, that's something else that I love so much about this company. So sorry, it went a little longer, but Carly, again, thank you for the opportunity. I love you. If you guys are on here listening, if you're checking out the recording, someone loves you and cares about you enough and sees value in you that they want to align with you and they want to partner with you. And um, I really encourage you just to be, be open and, you know, what's the saying? Like, what if I fall? But darling, what if you fly? Right. So I got Carly. Absolutely loved every little bit of that. And you, you know what, you could have gone another 30 minutes and I know we would all just been captivated by everything you have to say. So thank you so much. And one thing I'm sure you guys will see of the thread through all of us speaking is we do have an alignment. You know, you'll hear a lot of the same messages resonating from us because it's like we, we've drawn the same tribe of people that want the same thing. And if this is speaking to you guys, like it's the real deal here. The people here have such beautiful hearts and, um, you know, the average person can come in and be loved and they can win. And we have this wonderful culture and there is room at our table for you. So if this is speaking to you, please reach out to the person who sent you this video or who invited you to this, because like I said, there's room at our table for you and we would love to have you align with us. So with that said, Judy, I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to you. And you guys, thank you all of you that shared tonight and for all of you that hopped on and took some time out of your night to hang out with us. We appreciate all of you. Good night. Thank you so much. That was awesome. All right, Great guys. call, so Carly, good. Kim, everybody. Incredible call. Thanks so much for sharing, everyone. Thank Have you. a great night. Thank you. Thank good you, night. Everybody. Thank you. Good night. Good night. It was a pleasure.